In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up your Alpha R36A router and get it connected to the internet. Remember that while the R36A can be purchased separately, it will need to be connected to one of the Alpha adapters, such as the Alpha AWUS036 NH or the Alpha Tube UNA. So first, click the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right of your screen and then look for the R36A router. You can click connect automatically and then click on connect. Now this may take 15 to 30 seconds for your router to be connected. So just be patient. I am going to speed this section up so you don't have to wait as long if you're just watching. All right, and now we're connected. It will say no internet with an open connection status. Go ahead and open an internet browser. We're gonna use Microsoft Edge. Go into the top, into the address bar, and type in 192.168.36.1, and then press the enter key. Now you'll be taken to the main setup page where you get to create a password. So go ahead and create a password, eight characters or longer. Once you finish typing the password, you can click the I icon on the right to see your password and make sure you entered it correctly. Repeat your password, double check it if you would like, and then click submit. From this screen, we're going to go to the spot that says wireless hotspot extender and click next. The unit will scan for all the available Wi-Fi sources. Go to the Wi-Fi source that you want to connect to and click select. Enter the password of the network that you are going to extend. This may be your campground or your home network password if you're testing out your product at home. This is the password all of your Wi-Fi enabled devices will need to connect to your R36A. You will need to remember this password for the next step. I made it the same as the login password in the beginning. Now click finish. Wait about 60 seconds. It will say applying changes, please wait. And then it will say, please reconnect Wi-Fi, select the R36A network. Again, wait about 60 seconds before trying to connect. I'm gonna speed this up and get us started at the next spot. All right, so it's been about 60 seconds. Go back and click the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right find your R36A, it will now say secured, and when you click connect, you'll be asked to enter the network security key. This is the last password that you made, and once you enter it, you do have the option of pressing and holding the eye icon to check your password. You can do that, and then click next. Click yes. Now this may take about 15 to 30 seconds for your R36A to connect. Once it becomes all black instead of gray, and you see on the page that you are connected in the top right in green, you know that you should be good to go. But to double check that you're connected to the internet, open a new tab and go to your favorite website. In our case, this is gonna be rockland.com. Click enter and see if the web page loads. If it does, then you have successfully connected to the internet. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us at rockland.com.